Are you serious? Wait, are you serious? No. No, Abueva should go, uh, should go the Rookie of the Year and MVP as well. Well, that's just your opinion. No, 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 Warcraft 3 is shit. That's just your opinion. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, hello there. <laughs> well, it's just, you know, I'm reading other people's opinions about things and... You know the keyword, opinion. Opinion, you have to, re uh, you need to respect it. Uh, respect, it, it, you need to respect it. Either way, either you want to agree, you disagree, or do you want to agree to disagree about things. That's the key. Well, in this world, especially on the internet, if you have a per if you have an opinion on things, whether it's going to be, uh, it's going to be agreed by someone or disagreed by someone, if you, they cannot take it a grain as a grain of salt, well, you'd get ready to get ready to be knocked out. If you know what I mean. The, well, the thing is, this is going to be like like if you, uh, if you somehow made a picket uh, picket uh, picket sign on someone's protest that disagrees with them get ready to be ganged up get ready to be beaten up well and that's that's how the world works now if you had a personal opinion just personal just personal opinion people are not going to respect it especially when these people are acting like they have the high horse yeah they have the high horse in the ivory castle because their morals are you know more you know their their morals are more relevant than yours their uh their morals are you know uh more to more to good than yours because your opinion doesn't matter you know issues like um homosexual marriage um genocides suicide uh, suicides bullying those kinds of things if you had a personal opinion in which people actually have you know have some uh, like Brussels some chimneys, then you can you know, you're going to be expected to be bashed personally, calling you a retard, calling you a bigot, calling you all sorts of things, including hypocrite and a, you know a heretic if you may. Because uh, I'm going to I'm going to somehow share you a little story about what is transpiring to one of the communities I. That you, that I really somehow follow, not not so uh, not obsessively. There's this one YouTuber uh, express who expressed her actual opinion, personal opinion about gay marriage because I think the state that she was living at recently approved gay marriage, and she somehow said that, uh, yeah, hate the uh, hate the sin, not the sinner, and she's going to she's offended when, um gay marriage was actually legalized in their state and you know she said that she was disappointed she's in dismay but you know what it's not a, it's not that she's going to um, pick it on the White House and force the uh, force the Congress to actually abolish it was it the White House or is it Congress doesn't matter but the thing is she said it in a personal you know a personal opinion a very civil a very noble you know, novel because she's from she's a fundamentalist Christian. She said it outright, and then this guy in the one who commentated on her back was actually a uh, a radical extremist atheist who doesn't respect her as a person, but doesn't respect her as a human for having a different opinion on on things like gay marriage. Whereas this uh, atheist uh, extremist atheist is actually uh you know for equal rights even though she he really don't know how to respect a person he really don't know how to respect a fellow human being he called her a retard he called her a bigot just for having a personal opinion about things which she she expressed in the most civil way possible there are no there is no respect given that day and when people got uh when people found out that her opinion is like this she she uh she is labeled as a bigot for actually not having the sense of equal human rights now where's the respect on that 
I don't know where. Maybe it was true under under the bus, or it was flown off the window. Where if you're if you are in that situation where yeah you you somehow express it in a way because you grew up with you know she's a fundamentalist Christian she lives she believes in the Bible she's also you know uh you know uh somehow a, a man of si a man or a woman of science because ironically Church of the uh, is one of them <laughs> said that um. She said that uh, homosexual homosexuality is against on what she believes in, but whatever the state of uh, whatever the state could, uh, said about it, it's going to it's going to get go, but so, uh, somehow like that, and yeah, she's going to be offended personally, and she's going to just brush it off, and people attacked her for that, people actually condemned her. She's not a human being anymore because she's against human. She's against gay marriage. It's a personal opinion. You somehow have to respect it. That's the thing. The key word is respect. The key word is respect. That's the key word. That's like the key of all keys. We have, we are, yeah. I'm, uh, people like me might agree, disagree, or agree or disagree on her, about her opinion. But I'm going to respect her as a human being. Because she said it in a respectable way. And I applaud her for that. Do I have to attack her personally? Do I have to call her a bigot, a faggot, a retard, uh, a hypocrite, a heretic, an inhuman, inhumane person? No. I'm not going to. But if you stated a, a really a hate speech, that's that's another thing. That's another uh, whole new ballgame. You know what I mean? But opinions, they're good as long as they're civil. As long as, you know, we're being cool about it, it's okay. But if I'm going to be bash about it because um, it's somehow, uh, it somehow kicked them in the nuts and they don't want to, they don't want to hear something like that, I don't deserve it. I'm not going to deserve it. Like, like this girl who actually just uh, express it with class. They have more class than these people. That's pretty much it. Anyway, drop a comment there. I can see my face. Drop a comment there. Send a PM there. No, send a PM there. And I'm going to drop my Skype ID here there as well. You want to talk about opinions? That's okay. It's fine. It's all good. After all, opinions opens discussions. Anyway, I am Homer and Warcraft 2. It's for me, it's still the best Warcraft game that I've ever played. That's an opinion, that is. Thank you very much. Bye for now.